get ready with me while I tell you about my engagement. So me and my fiance have been together a little over a year. He's from South Carolina. I was in North Carolina when we met. Now I'm originally from Georgia and I'm back in Georgia and we've been doing long distance for majority of our relationship. He's in South Carolina. I'm in Georgia. We plan for me to come up um, just for the weekend. It was a four-day trip. Um, did I did I think he was gonna propose? No. Did I want him to? Yes. I see the ring box sitting on his like entry table to his room. And he's like, "Do you want to see the ring?" And I was like, "No, I don't want to see it because if I can't keep it, why would I want to see what it looks like?" You know. And I was like, "So he has to do it if he's offering to show me the ring." But one day we had like a little day date. Um, we're gonna get lunch, and he looks really nice. He has on his polo. His khakis and my boyfriend is not like a polo and khakis type of guy. He's and I brought a dress because I thought he was gonna propose, but I didn't wear it that day because I was like, I don't want to waste it just in case, and I'll save it. So we get back to my my house. I have to use the bathroom, so I go in the bathroom and I'm just gonna scroll on TikTok. And when I'm done, I come out and I hear them talking. I'm like, hopefully he's asking for a blessing. So next time he comes down, we can do the proposal. But I walk through the house. My mom has a dog. I end up stepping in poop. I'm barefoot. I'm mad. I am so upset. Um, going back, I wash up, and then he was like, "I feel bad that you stepped in literal dog poop, feces." Um, I'm gonna take you to dinner. I was like, "Okay." My boyfriend, fiance, is literally the sweetest man. Um, so nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Like even at dinner, he was like, "Um, like we're talking about like some of our favorite memories we've had together." And. So, like, nothing was out of ordinary. We, like, we would literally talk about this and what our plans are for the future and, like, our goals. So, it wasn't clicking in my mind that he was just trying to be like, ooh, um, I'm gonna propose, I'm gonna propose. Um, then after that, we come back to the house, you know? So, it's not clicking that, you know, that it's about to happen. So, he goes, Marty, um, I've been thinking about us a lot lately, and I literally, I literally say from my mind, I literally go, I think about us all the time. Okay, girl, shut up. And again, he was like, the whole time I was in Europe, I was just thinking that it would have been so much better with you there and how I don't want to miss out on any more memories with you. And I literally go again, yeah, because I'm great. Like, why would I say that? And by this point, I'm turning around. And as I'm turning around, he's getting down on one knee and I just kind of like freeze. And I'm just like, are you being so for real? He pulls out the ring box and he's like, yes. Why would I joke? Um, about this, and then he said, Mike, will you marry me? And I said, yes. That's a lot. <laughs> Bye. So, now we have to plan a wedding, and that is the craziest thing to think about, because what do you mean a wedding? Possibly a 2025 ride, possibly a 2026 ride. We don't know. I've only been doing this for two days. You should follow me for more wedding content or give me some tips. I ain't never planned a wedding before. <laughs> so help a girl out. Venues and Greenville, South Carolina and caterers that will do a baked potato bar. Please and thank you.